This short video gives an overview of the results of an independent study carried out at King's College London by Dr Guy Sisson and Professor Ingvar Bjarnason to establish the efficacy of Simprov in IBS. This study was a randomised, double-blind, placebo-controlled study and one of the first to address the efficacy of a probiotic using standards equivalent to a drug trial. Probiotic efficacy a probiotic product not only has to reach the gut, it also has to do something beneficial once it arrives. There is a rationale for the use of probiotics in reducing IBS symptoms, but rigorous clinical testing has been lacking. The efficacy of Simprove has been confirmed in a randomised, double-blind, placebo-controlled study by King's College Hospital. Study Protocol Probiotics are classed as a food, so trials don't need to be as rigorous as drugs. This was one of the first studies to address the efficacy of a probiotic using standards equivalent to a drug trial. 186 IBS sufferers, mostly moderate to severe, received a daily dose of Simprove or an identical placebo liquid for three months. Study results Simprove had an effect on pain. Importantly, there was a significant improvement in pain in the Simprove group, considered the most common and most dominating IBS symptom. Bowel habit. Patients report an objectively measurable improvement in their satisfaction with their bowel habit, both constipation and diarrhoea, which is unusual in IBS treatments. Bloating. Although some improvement was observed, it did not reach statistical significance. As the study was not powered to demonstrate bloating, no firm conclusion may be made. Overall symptom severity. Achieved benefit in 60% of participants. Just over a quarter had minimal or no symptoms at all at week 12. Study results. Symptom severity was measured using IBS Symptoms Severity Score. The severity of the symptoms of IBS is normally plotted on a scale up to 500. Before taking part, the average scores for the participants was about 300. At the end of the study, those taking the placebo went down to 270. However, the average score for those taking the active drink dropped far more, to 240. When you consider that control subjects who do not have IBS when tested score about 75, it shows you how significant a reduction this was. Study results. The significant change in pain score is important as pain is regarded as the key measure for patient health. Study results. Patients report an objectively measurable improvement in their satisfaction with their bowel habit, constipation and diarrhoea. Significant improvement was achieved in four weeks. Improvement continued through the full 12 weeks. Results show that this multi-strain probiotic is safe, well-tolerated and efficacious in improving overall symptom severity in patients with IBS. Conclusion Simprov was demonstrated to improve the symptoms of patients with IBS using a validated symptom severity score. Simprov was shown to be safe. Simprov was shown to be well tolerated.